Hello and welcome again to another TVET lesson. Today we're going to be doing the computer practice N5 uh, question paper. We're going to be doing question 7B from 2023 November examination question paper. Okay, uh, this is the question that you're going to be answering. And then we're going to be looking at uh, uh, what is this question giving you. Uh, they are requesting you to complete a spreadsheet of which uh, on the spreadsheet you're going to answer A up to J and then from A up to J uh, you're collecting you're collecting 20 marks for answering A, B, C, D up to J collecting 20 marks from there the same question continues and then they're going to be offering you more marks they're going to be offering you extra marks for actually uh, doing what displaying the formulas that you applied in the first question which means if you do everything correct in the first one you collect extra marks for just printing the formulas in the next uh, question which is question 7b which is like quick marks and then from there it continues it gives you more marks on the same question paper if you are able if you're able to retrieve the 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 if you're able to produce a pie or a graph or a chart on the same question paper you get additional 80 marks thereby the whole question this whole question giving you 40 marks so So you are given this spreadsheet to complete. You're supposed to complete the number of the days sent uh, uh, is not sent actually. It's supposed to be days spent. So I'm going to edit this one. Days spent. And you're also supposed to complete total paid a discount yes or no and discount allowed i'm just gonna adjust this column a little bit so that you can read so quick one they spent it's easy because you arrived on the fifth on the fifth of may you left on the seventh of may which means the formula for this one should be the day you went out minus the day you came in which is going to be an easy formula what you're going to do is going to be equal sign check out minus check in and then you got two days that you spent at whatever a hotel then you apply a function called a fill down function to copy the formula downwards and then it calculates for you so this column should take you less than 30 seconds this one to do okay now you know how many days you spent or how many days the the visitors have spent at the hotel or at your lodge remember you are doing this either as an assistant or a, or a manager or a supervisor you are supposed to be giving report to management so they need to know what is happening what are the statistics who's coming who's booking what because this is either a hotel or a lodge now they also want to know what is the total paid the total paid will be the number of days multiply by what by the price per room a double room is costing 1050 a single room is 850 so you have to multiply the price by the number of days so let us quickly multiply do, do that calculation so you're gonna do equal sign this spend multiply by multiply by price and you press equal sign and you apply the fill down function and you get the total for all other uh, rooms that were booked so 
these two columns should be completed in even less than a minute. So, coming to the last column, to two, not the last column actually, discount yes or no, we have to look at the question what they what they're looking for. They must give us an instruction. Okay. Discount yes or no equal sign. So when you arrive at this question, this is an immediate when you see the word if, you know it's an if statement. It says if days spent are greater than you put the sign greater than five then the client discount uh, the client uh, is discounted yes otherwise no so it means when you're doing the if statement your answer in the column will be either a yes or no using the if function to get the answers so what do you do let us go back to our, our our spreadsheet and see what are we having and remember they are saying that they spent remember they spent is also a column given to us so here are the days spent two days five days one day five days and what did they say they they gave us an any statement to say if the person spent over five days then the person get a what then the person gets a yes so if you spend great more than five days you get a yes which is like greater than if you get greater than five days otherwise everybody get a no so we are going to apply the if function to get our calculation Our, fo uh, our formulas are going to be under formulas, formulas, and you can see there you got all range of formulas. We are looking for a yes or no. A yes or no is an if statement. So if statement is under the logical function, logical function if. So if you click on that, it gives you an argument, an argument that you must complete. So they are saying if what? They're saying if they spend, they spend is column check. You must always know the column. It's F. So you don't have to type F. They're saying when immediately when you click on the E statement, it's gonna appear there. It's gonna show you that uh, we are active there, 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 there. So you are supposed to just apply it. So we're gonna quickly apply it. We're gonna we're gonna quickly apply it and then we're gonna say if what if they spend so in this column in our argument logical test you click the first one and you're gonna go to they spend click on that column which is f8 and from f8 what do you do you say greater than because they said greater than so you must press the sign greater than greater than what they say greater than five you have to key in the five and then if they said if the answer is correct it must be a yes you type yes on the true value and you click the no on the false value and you and you do what you press okay and you get the answer and then you fill down the answers and it gives you all the correct answers